Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, joining you for another case analysis. This time around, we're going to talk about case number 12. But before we do so, may I ask your kind-hearted spirits to please join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NPLEX RN application and give you to 100 nurses. We're increasing that now to 300. And to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. Thank you so much for doing so. And I'd like to let the public know through this advisory that Dr. Ray Gapus, that's me, and the mentors of the Ray A. Gapus system are not part of any center named Gapus Review Academy or the GRA. If you want the Ray A. Gapus Review System, you have to look for our company. That's the Ray A. Gapus Review System under the International Center for Advanced Review and Training. So if you don't see us in your class, it's not a Ray Gapo system class. You have here before us today on our screen, the Philippine team of the Ray Gapo review system. Of course, we have several other teams catering to healthcare workers and nurses from, as of last count, 35 countries worldwide. So thank you very much for the blessings and the referrals to all of you. So. On to our next generation NCLEX RN case number 12. Okay, but before we do so, let me just read this. This is actually a message I received early on on Messenger just today. Dear Dr. Ray, I passed the NCLEX. I'm so overwhelmed. I received the good news through last night. We were in Mall of Asia. I cried and cried. People asked me if I'm okay. I told them I just received the good news that I passed the NCLEX. Even the security guard approached me. There were so many kind-hearted Pinoys yesterday showing their concern. Dr. Ray, you and your team are the best. I attended Look at Her Success Recipe, four compre review, one boot camp, two days of quick, quick fix only, because on the third day was my exam. But we actually had some conversation after, and she just found out that some of those things that I highlighted on the third day would have helped her more. But nevertheless, she passed the test. So two weeks before the exam, I read the pharma book. One week before the test, the latest 311, and the day before the nursing reminder sheets. Excellent sequence of uh, mastering our learning tools. Dr. Ray, from the Compre up to the NRS, all concepts were covered. Nasa exam po lahat. During the boot camp and the quick fix, I sat in front. That's why during the exam, I kept on hearing your voice saying, Gaga, go slow so that you are the next SRN. Totoo nga. Dr. Ray, auditory halu ang peg. Again, Dr. Ray and the team, thank you. God bless us all. May you continue to help nurses fulfill their American dreams. So she's simply just saying, sharing some of the fun moments we had in class. And she shared that in um, Filipino. So in a way, she's just saying the jokes help her remember things. Okay, so let's move on. So our NCLEX RN alert for today, we're going to talk about malignant hyperthermia susceptibility or MHS. Now, what is this? Before we dig deep into that concept, I'd like to share with you once again a testimonial from one of our pastors, Dr. Ray Lahat po from Compre Bootcamp, Quick Fix, Pharma Book, 311 NRS, and of course, Doctor, your YouTube videos. Inaabangan ko palagi ang YouTube videos niyo. And for those who have purchased the latest edition of my book, NCLEX RN311, the next generation quick fix edition, please focus on the concepts found on the pages that I've posted here and more to come in terms of pointers coming from me. Thank you. So we'd also like to congratulate our passer from ITAPS. Now, ITAPS is the International Test Applications Processing Services, the official processing services of the Ray A. Gapos system. We process your NCLEX application faster and at a more affordable fee. If you have a limited budget, please do come to our office and process through ITAPS because our rates just begins at 48 45,000 to 48,000 for your test preparations processing fee. And if you process with ITAPS, you get one cycle of the Ray Gapo system review for free. Yes, you heard it right. Process through ITAPS and get a review free. Okay, so from 
Ashel, Army, A. Del Prado. Thank you, ITAPS, for being excellent help to achieve my NCLEX USR in journey. I'm very satisfied with their service. The staff are friendly. They attended to all my needs accordingly. Updates are given on time, so I don't have to worry about the applications. They are also respond. They responded quickly to my inquiries. Highly recommended to all future RNs. Yes, we are true to what we're saying. We walk our talk. We process your application, your NCLEX application faster. And on to our topic for today, malignant hyperthermia susceptibility. Now, this is a genetic disorder that increases one's risk of malignant hyperthermia. And what is malignant hyperthermia? Now, malignant hyperthermia is a condition that usually results from exposure to drugs like um, succinylcholine or anectine, and these are pre-op medications. Sometimes your malignant hyperthermia susceptibility could be triggered by um, exposure to uh, the use of anesthesia during surgery. So in psychiatric clients, it is usually triggered by succinylcholine, a muscle relaxant that is given before electroconvulsive therapy. So note that if clients are being prepared for electroconvulsive therapy, um, several pre-medications are given like atrophin sulfate to prevent aspiration because it decreases secretions. And of course, your methohexyl sodium, which is also an anesthetic agent, is given to the client. And of course, your succinylcholine, which is a muscle relaxant. Okay, so malignant hyperthermia is manifested by, remember, the code rides, rapid shallow breathing, irregular and rapid heart rate, dangerously high temperature. So that should be your priority vital signs that you need to monitor, excessive sweating, severe muscle rigidity, spasms, and skin discoloration. Now, if you're going through these specific manifestations, there's something that comes to mind. It's like malignant hyperthermia is extremely close to the manifestations. The manifestations of MHS are actually extremely close to the manifestations of neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Now, the difference could be what triggers this group of symptoms. So in neuroleptic malignant syndrome, that's associated with the treatment with antipsychotics, whereas malignant hyperthermia is a genetic disorder and the triggers could be the medications that are given preoperatively like succinylcholine and of course the use of anesthesia during surgery so that's where the difference lies so immediate treatment for malignant hyperthermia includes administration of dantrolene or dantrium it's a muscle relaxant um what's a mechanism of action it stops the release of calcium into the muscles now your mhs or malignant hyperthermia is also managed through the administration of oxygen and IV fluid. So let's apply what we just learned to a case. A client who was given succinylcholine was found to have rapid breathing, palpitations, muscle spasms, and a temperature of 39 degrees centigrade. Now, there are two things that you have to focus on this case. First, what triggered the symptoms? And you have there succinylcholine. So definitely it's not an antipsychotic that triggered the symptoms. If it would have been an antipsychotic, this would have been a case of neuroleptic malignant syndrome. However, even the question is not asking about the diagnosis of the client. Go through it. So the nurse should anticipate the administration of which drug to manage a client's condition. Is it ibuprofen? acetaminophen, acetazolamide, or dantrolene. Definitely ibuprofen and acetaminophen. These drugs are usually given for clients with fever and pain that are not associated with uh, malignant hyperthermia. Um, acetazolamide, on the other hand, is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. It's given in order to decrease the production of PKU more in a client with glaucoma. But at the same time, your acetazolamide is also used in lithium toxicity for the treatment of lithium-induced diabetes in situ, specifically polyuria and polydipsia. Those are symptoms that are targeted by the administration of acetazolamide in a client who's taking lithium. So in essence, the correct answer in this question is 
number four. That's your dantrolin or dantrium, the muscle relaxant that is given to a client suffering from malignant hyperthermia. So if you want to learn more from me and from our system and from our group of mentors, may I invite you to join me in the 10-day challenge. That's the Quick Fix Bootcamp for NCLEX RN. It's going to be held from um, November 13 to 24 at Mount Crest Hotel in Baguio City. The class begins at 8 a.m. and it usually ends at 6 p.m. So this is an entirely face-to-face -face class with me and of course, our guest mentors. So Dr. Ray, this is a feedback. As in talaga nakakagusbumps. Yung na-discuss nyo po lahat sa bootcamp, promise, lahat po talaga. Pati yung na-discuss ni na Miss Nicole and Miss McLean. So our pastor is just simply saying that she found in her test the concepts that we highlighted in the bootcamp, including those that were discussed by our guest mentors. So if you want to join the bootcamp, definitely more than the 10 days, you are also entitled to join the quick fix with no additional fee, to join the comprehensive with no additional fee. And you will be given eight copies of the pharmacology book, the nursing reminder sheets. You could also opt to have um, hard copies of those two. NCLEX 311, the new edition, and of course, the QBank. And you will be given the privilege of sitting in the class in terms of the comprehensive review in an unlimited manner. And of course, you will be given an access to our core shell. So all of those tools, all in one, if you join our 10-day bootcamp. Okay, so join our hundreds of thousands and passers this time from 35 countries worldwide. Thank you to the nurses who believed in the radio ecosystem. Okay, and the second important thing that you need to remember if you're preparing for your NGN, you learn to study, you have to learn how to study using technology because the items on the test are definitely um, uh, provided in a technology enhanced environment. So here at the Regapo system, our learning tools are uniquely created based on the Gen Z learner characteristics. And these are all published by internationally, internationally renowned publishing companies. Okay. This is an example of um, what you will find in our course shells, all the subjects covered on the NCLEX, we have safety and infection control, basic care and comfort, health promotion and maintenance, management of care, pharmacological and parenteral therapies, physiological adaptation one, two, and three, and of course, reduction of risk potential and psychosocial integrity. Now in each course shell, you will engage in eight different activities and you may opt to choose which of those activities you may want to engage in first. And the third, but the most important element of passing the NGN, you have to be in a conducive environment that should keep your focus. At the Ray Gapu system, we are limiting our number of students to a comfortable number. And of course, the only one with an NGN simulation laboratory. And you may come to the office and use it for free. So may I invite you to join me in my next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test preparation class for the NCLEX. Your choice of live face-to-face -face class or virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, the use of our QBank plus my three books, and of course, the NGN strategies and sample questions coming from me. So the fee starts at 3,199. So you, have, you can choose from among our available schedules. You can have it weekdays in the morning or weekdays in the afternoon or weekend full day classes. And we now have evening classes for two and a half hours. You can choose to be in a class from 6 to 8.30 p.m. or from 7.15 to 9.15 p.m. So once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus. At your service, see you in my next video.